I just restocked my Etsy store with new mask patterns. Of course, I hope life goes back to normal as soon as possible, but business is booming. I hate it that strangers in the grocery store can't tell when I'm politely smiling at them anymore, so I have been practicing my smizing. That is, smiling with my eyes. At the beginning of quarantine, my new focus on self-discipline was going really well. I'd wake up early every day, read some Kierkegaard, have a balanced breakfast. That lasted about two days. Now I get up at noon, scroll through Twitter, and shove a Pop-Tart in my mouth. I'm running a speakeasy style gym slash actual speakeasy down in my basement. Don't tell anyone, but the secret passcode is gains and fermented grains. How many weeks have we been on lockdown now? Wow. Time really flies when you sleep 13 hours a day. The ingredients available to our chef are as follows. Anchovies, yellow cake mix, pickled jalapenos, and whipped cream. Can he turn his costly error of forgetting to go to the grocery store for six weeks straight into a culinary triumph? We're about to find out. I took a job as an essential worker at a grocery store. I don't need the money. I just wanted to make sure that all social distancing protocols were being properly enforced. Oh, well, uh, hey there. I just uh, couldn't help but notice you from across the club. Can I get you a drink? Concerts are canceled, bars and restaurants closed. I can't even go out and show off my warm weather outfits. This was supposed to be the summer of me. I would do anything for a haircut right now. At this point, it seems like it would be easier to negotiate a hostage situation than to get a trim. This quarantine is no big deal. New Year's Eve, 1999, I was in a bunker that my Aunt Hilda built because she was scared of a Y2K disaster. I lived in that bunker for the next three months because I liked the peace and quiet of being away from my Aunt Hilda. Whew. Running with a mask is awesome. You breathe in half the oxygen and so you burn twice the calories. It's a natural high, dude. I've had enough of this guy. Every day with the blah, 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 and the worrying, and the neuroses, and the people pleasing, ugh. I can't stand hanging out with myself anymore. Wow, a new way to fold cereal boxes shut. This is the absolute low point of my life. Even once they relax the guidelines, I'm gonna stay home. Because if everyone had just done like me and stayed home all the time in the first place, this would have never happened. And we never would have had to stay home. How far away are you from me now, Timmy? Well, it's not socially distant enough because you still have cell service, meaning you are relatively close to civilization. So keep going, Timmy! If you want to own some of these cool designs to wear on your own body, the link is in the description. You can be repping your favorite YouTube channel, which is this one. The first rule of the speakeasy gym slash speakeasy speakeasy is everybody knows the rules. That's logic. And what's the deal with neuroses? It's hard to breathe in this mask. Dude, I am sorry. I didn't know she was your girlfriend, okay?